Hi guys, it's Lizzie here. So today I thought I would do a 10 random facts about me video. Um, I've realised that I've been doing YouTube videos for almost two years and um, I haven't really given myself the opportunity to let you guys get to know me. So I thought this would be a great way for me to do that. So um, fact number one is that I love cats. As I'm sure you've seen in plenty of my other videos that my cats often feature in them. And um, actually today there's a little cake sleeping just here. There we go, all curled up on the sofa. So her name's Jaffa Cake and her sister's called Pepper G. And they're both just jet black, super soft and affectionate. And actually when I first got them, um, they were eight and 10 weeks old. Um, so not actually related. And um, I used to always make this noise. Oh! <laughs> and um, they've learned to do it. So they don't really meow properly. They just go oh! back at me like a pigeon, which is quite nice. Fact number two is that I've lived in Brighton my whole life. So um, I really enjoy living here. I love the fact it's so close to the sea and so close to the countryside and really, you know, I'm, I live basically in the center of town. So I've got the best of everything. Um, essentially when I was 18 my parents decided to move to Lincolnshire and I had the option to go with them or stay here and um, I decided to make my own way here. So um, yeah, I've lived in several different places around Brighton since they moved, um, but where I am now with my boyfriend Chris is just fantastic. I love this flat, I love where we are and um, I couldn't wish for anything more really. The next fact is uh, pretty obvious, um, my favourite colour is purple, hence the hair and how I often do purple makeup tutorials, um, my last flat I painted purple, lots of things I own are purple, um, I just figure that it is a colour that makes me really happy, it makes me feel calm and um, yeah, I love it. I've literally always loved purple. From as far back as I remember, my favourite colours were pink and purple, and then I dropped pink, and um, purple stuck through me. Stuck through me? <laughs> stuck with me through my life. <laughs> you know what I mean. So another fact is that I apparently sleep talk. Um, obviously I'm completely unaware of this, but Chris will let me know in the morning what I've said. Um, one time I pressed my finger against his lips and went shh, that he wasn't saying a single word. Other times I just call out random words and things like that. And I also, um, well he describes my breathing like a hamster when I'm asleep. Like, which uh, <laughs> is super creepy, but you know, I've got to breathe whilst I'm asleep. Apparently I just do it really fast like a hamster. Another sort of bedtime related thing is that I have what I've called a phantom wee. Essentially, um, before I go to bed, obviously I brush my teeth, go to the toilet like a normal person, wash my face, you know, all the rest. But then I will go to the toilet again, and then, like real recently, again. So, but nothing happens obviously, I don't need to go to the toilet, I've already been. But I have to go, otherwise I cannot get to sleep. Sometimes I think, I'll just get in bed and like, I'll just overcome that, and I can't. I just lie there like, oh, I just want to go to the toilet again. It's like a proper problem and it only happens at night time. The rest of the day I just go about as I need to. But at night time, it's, it's all in my head. <laughs> the next fact is one that I'm sure a lot of people can relate to um, and it's my absolute love and passion for pizza. <laughs> it's just the best dinner ever because you just put it in the oven and it's a whole dinner, sorted. Well, at the start of the year though, about two, three months ago, I became vegan, so um, obviously the amount of pizzas that I have available to me are a bit less, but um, we've been making our own pizzas and um, we're quite fortunate in Brighton to have lots of local places that do a vegan option. So um, I haven't gone without at all and I feel like my pizza urges are being satisfied, so it's all good. I love lists. Even for today, for instance, I'm planning to film six videos, so I've written a list of the six. And actually about these facts for me, even though they're about me and I should know them, I have a list. Um, I have a list for everything because I find it so like good for my brain to write everything down, make sure it's out of my head. That way I don't keep going over things and I don't forget things, more importantly. Um, but I also kind of make them colour coordinated. So it's a bit excessive, but everywhere I go, I take all these pens with me. And there's gotta be, there's 20, 20 in here. 
Um, and I've been doing that for about two years and I take my diary with me and then depending on what else I'm doing, if I'm going to college I'll take the book relating to that or if I'm going to work at the makeup counter I'll take the other book. And um, always other bits where I write little lists down and I make sure anything to do with NYX is with my pink pen and then anything to do with the salmon I work in is with the blue pen because it matches their logo and so on. Like, it gets a bit out of hand but it doesn't stress me out if I can't write something in the right colour. I just, um, you know, I'm disappointed in myself. <laughs> don't worry, I don't take it too seriously. I am naturally ginger. So um, I know that since doing this channel I haven't had my natural hair and actually I don't think my hair has been its natural colour since I was 15. So um, I'm 26 now. So it's been a long time that I've been dyeing it. For the first few years of that I was dyeing it more ginger. But um, if I can find one, I'll insert a photo of my natural hair for you to see. Um, when I was really young, my mum bleached the ends of my hair and dyed it purple with Stargazer's purple hair dye. And I think I would have been about 12 and it was for the summer holidays and I absolutely loved it. And from sort of that point, I always wanted all my hair to be purple. So um, I'm happy that I've got to this stage, though it definitely needs a dye. Oh, well, there's my roots. They definitely don't look ginger there though. And I am a little bit worried that um, I'm not naturally ginger anymore because it's been so long since I've seen my hair and I only ever see like a centimetre of it until I dye it again so I'm not really sure. I hope I'm still ginger. I, I feel ginger. <laughs> my favourite day of the year is Pride. Um, I think just in general everything about that day is fantastic but specifically with living in Brighton and celebrating that day it's just the like overwhelming positivity and love is fantastic. Everywhere you look there are rainbows and people smiling and laughing and, and dressed so flamboyantly and there's feather boas everywhere. I always said feather dusters. I mean there's them too. There's literally everything. You can express yourself in any way you like on that day and know that you're surrounded by people that love and care for you and it's just it's just the best um, and actually last Pride, so it's in August, my boyfriend gave me an engagement pebble, like a penguin. <laughs> it's perfectly circular, I don't know if you can see that, spherical I should say and um, yeah makes the day even more special. So I keep this with me and I feel like a good penguin partner. If you didn't know, penguins propose to each other by giving them a pebble. <laughs> if I hadn't made that clear enough. The last fact is that I absolutely love vintage, authentic, original pieces of furniture. So um, I store my makeup in these boxes that are um, original and um, my desk that I'm sitting at now is original. And I actually bought this without telling Chris that so he just came home and um, it was all set up and it's got, it fits all my makeup in, it's got all the little cubby holes, it's a bureau and the mirrors I have around me, and some of the pictures on the wall, actually this one, oh, it did go into focus, who knew, is um, an original piece from the Victorian era in the same frame. I have just over here um, an anatomical sketch of an elephant, and that's nice, that's original too. Um, and I just like collecting these bits as and when I find them and to sort of fulfill my Victorian Gothic fantasy home, which has slowly come together. So that's it for today guys, thank you so much for watching um, and I like to think that you've got to know me a little bit better now and if you can I'd like you to leave some facts about yourself below so I can get to know you guys too. I quite often see the same people commenting on here and particularly on Instagram and liking my posts and I really appreciate that. Um, I really love the fact you continually support what I'm doing, I feel you know extra special for that, I feel like you know it'd be good for me to get to know you in the same way. So thank you for watching, um, also I filmed this makeup tutorial so if you want to know how to create this sort of pink purple glittery eye then um, I'll link that below as and when it's online. So thanks again and I'll see you soon. Take care, bye bye.